Hey, what's going on everybody? Brandon Charleston here recording another quick tutorial for you. In this video, I'm gonna make it short, sweet, to the point. Uh, but one of the things that I'm super excited about is yet another great integration that Clay has recently announced, and that's a partnership with HeyReach. HeyReach is a wonderful platform, in my opinion, one of the best to really scale your LinkedIn automated outreach uh, because there's a lot of unique features that they offer in order to protect your account, also make sure that you can uh, represent your clients and a lot of flexibilities and uh, custom things that you can do within that. So let's go ahead and dive in. So uh, what I did, just to start off and to help you kind of get to your um, your automated outreach uh, started as soon as possible. Obviously, with all the things that I post, you know, clay is pretty complex, and so I didn't want to dive too deep on uh, complex tables and things like that. Uh, but just to get you started, one of the first things is uh, number one, A Reach is definitely a good platform. So essentially, if you haven't heard of them before. They're 100% cloud-based to where you can scale and automate a lot of your processes and outreach uh, sequences, uh, not only you, but for your clients as well. Uh, and you can also 10X it through multiple LinkedIn accounts. So not only can you use it for yourself uh, and other employees and things like that, but for your clients to where it all kind of centrally uh, ties into one Unibox, almost like your email campaign outreach tools like Instantly and Smart Lead and things like that. So definitely check out HeyReach. Uh, it's definitely worth a look and even a trial uh, to give them a shot, right? So I definitely think it's good. So from here, uh, you can see I'm in uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator because in my opinion, uh, this is the, the number one. You go straight to the horse's mouth, right? Anything that's updated on LinkedIn, well, the first step is LinkedIn. Everybody knows that, right? So in my opinion, one of the fastest and best ways that you can grow your network is to simply reach out to people uh, that are second degree connections, right? You already have some sort of common connection. So really the chances of you getting accepted and connecting with more folks is people that are uh, you know, secondary connections, right? Third degree and all that other stuff. A lot of times you have to get a little bit more creative and you wanna make sure that you're uh, reaching out to people with good copy, things like that. Uh, so that's a whole nother workflow. Uh, but just to keep it short, sweet, to the point, what you want to do is uh, is go ahead and turn on the uh, post on LinkedIn. And what this is going to do is filter people who have uh, are actively on LinkedIn, right? No other way to explain it. They posted on LinkedIn of the last 30 days. So you know when you send a connection request, they're probably going to see it and your chances of getting accepted are going to be a lot higher seeing as though you have a second degree connection, right? And so... What I did is I put my friend here, uh, Patrick, on the spot just to kind of uh, bring an example. But let's say, for instance, that I want to set up a second degree connection, uh, people who uh, Patrick are connected to, and I just want to simply uh, connect with them, right? Now, you could do this with your clients, uh, for example, champion customers, a number of different employees, uh, things like that. And then you can have them connect through their secondary connections in order to just further net their network and get their outreach going, right? So very simple. Uh, so I know two things. Number one, they're active on LinkedIn and they're a second degree connection. So that's one of the things that you could really leverage here. And then what you're going to want to do is just open up your HeyReach uh, once you get your platform and LinkedIn all connected and set up. And then you're just going to want to simply go to prospects and companies and then you're going to select sales navigator leads. You hit continue. And then all I need to do is just name my list and then you just hop over to sales navigator you're going to con or connect or copy rather uh, the URL and then post that into there and then uh, let it rip. So what will happen from here is it's going to generate the leads. It's going to scrape, right? And then you're going to want to um, export that once it's all done into a CSV. Uh, as far as automating that, I haven't quite identified that. This is very new, uh, but I just simply exported it as a CSV in order to upload that into Clay. And then what you could see here, is very simply, I have all the profile URLs of which I deduped that because we want to make sure that we're not reaching out to people uh, twice, right? Uh, or have them automated campaign. And then I just very simply float it through. This is all data that's pre-populated. And then you can see here as an end result, I just sent it to a campaign, which I'll show here in a little bit. Now, here's a pro tip. One thing that I uh, footsed up on is obviously having good data and making sure that you're reaching out in a way that sounds not automated and robotic. And that's one of the things where you'll have people such as Daniel here that likes to put a cloud, um, you know, the rocket ship, um, 
you know, or any sort of emoji in front of their name because clearly it shows that you're automating and you're not cleaning your data, right? So with that said, there's a number of ways you can approach it. You can obviously normalize names uh, through the Clay integration to make sure that your data is uh, first name is if you're using that tag, right, is uh, nice and clean. So that way you're not saying, hey, cloud rocket ship, uh, Daniel, I just saw we had second degree connections and wanted to reach out, right? That's not going to be, con it's not going to be a high conversion outreach, if you know what I mean. So all, what I did is I very simply used uh, Gemini in this instance, an, L an LLM that's very inexpensive and cost effective. Uh, you can use this for GPT-40 mini. You can use this for any large language model. I would recommend you use a smaller, very inexpensive model. It's really no reason to use a large, uh, expensive one uh, just to output a name. But what I did here is I just simply, uh, you could freeze the video too if you want to copy this. But you can see here, based on the input name below, I'll put a normalized first name and then I don't need to read the rest of it. Go ahead and copy it if you want. Uh, it works for me. I've also used it for Claude and things like that. So this is the input name. And you can see here very uh, consistently across over 2,000 people that it's outputting a very good name, right? And then, so you'll see here for Daniel, for example, it output very clean Daniel, right? And then uh, in another instance that is not always consistent, as you can see here, Salome, right? And I apologize if you're watching and I mispronounce your name, but clearly this person prefers to go by Sally. So what you're gonna wanna do is same thing, right? This logic is not uh, very linear or fixated. So in this case, you're gonna wanna use AI to really understand and output a very consistent, good, clean data. And so in this instance, I did exactly that and you could see it output Sally. So it'll say, hi Sally, saw that we had common connections, blah, 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 right? So all that to say that I have just simply normalized their first name to make sure it's good to go when I do actually outreach. So I'm not saying any sort of fuzzy or funny uh, stuff to show that I'm automating things, right? And then you're just gonna push that over to uh, to HeyReach, right? And then what you wanna do is uh, I'm sending the normalized first name, profile URL, and that's really, oh yeah, and then here's the thing, pro tip. You're gonna wanna do the custom variable. I just did N1 name, meaning normalized first name. So I did that variable and then I did the Gemini response as that, right? And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is I just made a very simple template, uh, second degree uh, outreach. So I did a follow, wait a day, and then you can see here, send connection request. And I'm doing, notice how I'm not using the first name tag here, right? Because that's gonna pre-populate the emoji fluffiness. I'm saying, hey, this custom merge tag, so that we had common connections, and that's it. And then you can really tailor your outreach here of how you wanna do it. I just am just trying to just reach out and be like, hey, great to connect. You know, I'm not trying to throw any pitches or anything like that, at least from this start, since you are developing new relationships. But again, take it with your own approach and how you wanna do. Uh, but yeah, that's basically my uh, demonstration here on how to use this wonderful platform, HeyReach, uh, and using with Clay. So. Uh, if nothing else, uh, reach out, and I appreciate you watching. Um, please like and subscribe uh, on my YouTube channel where I post a lot of uh, content when it comes to AI and automation for platforms such as this. But nonetheless, I'll keep this short, sweet, to the point. Appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your day.